testimony reads like this. It says, by the grace of God, I am Elder Jacob Oluwasanmi. My testimonies are as follows. I woke up with terrible pain in my waist, and I quickly decreed and declared the life of God inside me to flow into and kick the pain out. That day, the pain was still there. The following day, I kept on declaring and decreeing the life of God into my waist. I never thought of it again. But on the third day, the pain disappeared miraculously without taking any drugs. Hallelujah. I praise God for my instant healing in Jesus' name. My second testimony is about the sale of our car that we have been struggling to sell for some time now. Thank God for last month's program where we were asked to list people owing us and things that will give us money. Lo and behold, the car was sold the following week without hassles. Praise the name of the Lord. My last testimony is from my wife, Mercy Oluwasami. She would like to thank God for the anointed handkerchief, which my wife calls mantle. Last Sunday, after our lunch, she got choked with saliva in her throat, and she couldn't breathe properly again after this. The devil is a bastard. She immediately applied the life of God and placed the mantle, as she calls it, the divine handkerchief, which we all know, on her chest, and she slept off. After waking up, her breathing came back to normal. We praise God for that healing touch in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Our next testimony is from Benyahafo Teteleni. I have two testimonies. A week ago, my enemies woke up from asleep with heart vibrating. I couldn't understand it because I had no history of heart issues. It was vibrating to the extent that it started affecting my breathing. I just woke up and spoke to my body, reminding my body that the life of God is inside it and it is not permitted to accept an evil arrow, disease, or any virus. I then took our anointed handkerchief. I placed it on my chest and slept. Glory to God! I can't explain how those vibrations disappeared. All I know is that I slept like a baby and when I woke up, there was no more complaint. Praise the name of the Lord. My next testimony is that I would like to thank God for what he has done in my life. As we all know, that getting a driver's license in our country, especially in Windhoek, is really a battle. Last time I attempted the exam, the enemy attacked me by making someone from my village in the north of Namibia to send me a text message. This was while I was waiting in a queue for my turn to test drive. That message affected me so emotionally that I was not able to concentrate again after that. Even the examiners, examiners could testify that it is not that I do not know how to drive, but just that I was not there. So I tested last week, Tuesday, and this time around, I decided to switch my phone off. Glory to the Lord. He made a way for me and he enabled me to pass my driver's license exam. Thanks be to the God of Life Change Christian Church. I now have my driver's license. I give God all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Our next testimony comes from Mr. Ernesto Saures. He says, a month ago, I woke with pain in my finger. My finger was paining and unable to move. It was very irritating. Whenever I was doing work, and just when we had received our hand handkerchief, I then decided to put my finger within the handkerchief, and I spoke the life of God immediately. And I want to thank God. The minute that I did that, my finger became well. The pain disappeared, and it was able to move. I give God glory for that instant touch in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Yeah. Brethren, shall we welcome our youth pastor? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! This morning, I just want to give glory to God for what he has done in life-changing Christian church, especially our academy. Today, we turned five years. Hallelujah! 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 
God has been merciful towards us. He's been kind to our academy. We started off as a daycare center, taking care of babies. But today, within a short period of five years, we are a fully registered primary school offering grades 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the Lord is wonderful. Hallelujah. It, was, it has been a journey of trials and tribulation, but in all that, we thank God because the more the enemy attack, the stronger we become in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has always provided for us in Jesus' name. Even during this COVID pandemic, we want to thank God that there was never one day we were unable to pay our staff salaries. The Lord has made sure that our staff is well taken care of. He has provided for all our needs according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. In this Namibia, many private schools are really struggling, but our school, we are fully blessed we are having our online classes. Our children are not neglected in any way, in any form. We thank God for that in Jesus' name. We also want to thank God for wisdom. That we have wisdom to always be ahead of the enemy. We give God glory in Jesus' name. And we just want to thank also our pastors, our senior pastor and our meme pastor for always guiding us, always praying for the school and helping us wherever we need assistance. And we give God glory in Jesus' name. Also, we just want to say thank you to our parents and those well-wishers, people that stand for our academy, always advertising our academy. May God increase you in Jesus' name. And for our Life Changers champions, continue to grow in grace, in wisdom, in knowledge of the Lord in Jesus' name. It's from our school where we will have future leaders in the mighty name of Jesus. We give God all the glory, all the praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. And hallelujah. Brethren, our last testimony for this Sunday during our service comes from our sister Rebecca Ipinge. She says, I have a testimony to give. And I thank God for my salvation and for the life of God. Two weeks ago, one of my colleagues told me that she was having pain and that there was something moving within her stomach. And she asked me to kindly pray for her. I asked her if she believes that God is able to heal her. And she responded, yes. I prayed a very short prayer. I said, by the life of God in, my, in me, I command that pain to disappear and the moving objects to disappear in Jesus' name. Amen. Then I thank God for her healing. The next day, she told me that the pain and the moving objects were gone. I really want to thank God for using me for instant healing. Hallelujah! <laughs> and I also want to thank God for the life of our senior pastor, for the wonderful teachings about the life of God inside us. May God bless you, pastor, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Those were the testimonies for the day. We thank God and we appreciate the power of God, how it is moving in the lives of our people. And we thank God for the anointing that is resting upon life-changing Christian church and our pastors in this ministry. Hallelujah. Praise the living God.